So there are three daily habits that you must start doing immediately if you want to be considered a pro, make serious money, be ahead of the game, and if you want your music career to not suffer like the typical struggling musician. And I myself have incorporated these strategies and have seen crazy results from them. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what they are so you can skyrocket your results too. So let's get to it. Hey, and welcome to Music Space, where we help working musicians just like you learn how to quickly and easily make a living with your craft. So if you're new here to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. So really quick, before we get into this video, if you're a musician or a band looking to make some really serious passive income, I'm advising all musicians like this to start a YouTube channel today. And I'm serious, right now, YouTube is the biggest opportunity for growth, income, and expansion for musicians. And because of this, I've created the YouTube Quick Start course to help you get up and running on YouTube really quickly. And the best part is, it's completely free. So definitely check out the link in the description and get instant access to that course. Okay, so daily must do habit number one is working on your business. So every day you need to do at least one thing in your business that moves you in the direction where you want to go. And the specific way to do this and what you wanna focus on is just one or two things that you can do daily that are highly impactful and again, move you toward your objective. You don't wanna get overwhelmed on a daily basis by doing multiple things. You do the simple things. So let's say for example, you want to start going to the gym, like that's something you want to do. Well, what I'm suggesting here is the habit of just putting on your gym clothes or putting out your gym clothes so that they are ready. And what that does is, is that puts you in the mind frame or in the mindset of getting ready to go to the gym and work out. So what that could mean in your music and in your music business is make a call and pitch your band or you know, do some optimizing on your website or on your social media pages. Do something like record a short video of a performance so that you can get some marketing out there. Or something that's really important, as I stated, is start a YouTube channel. Just get it set up. You could even do something like just record one track on that album or that CD project that you've been working on. Again, the goal here is to do one or two things that move you closer to your objective or your goals. And again, focusing on these one or two things keeps you in the mindset of where you're trying to be. And it's crazy because even when scientists have researched this, they found that doing this this way gets you to your results and your objectives and goals like 10 times faster. And that's because what happens is a lot of us try to take on too much, we try to do too much, or we look at it as this big picture, like all of this stuff that we have to do. And we get, you know, what's called paralysis by analysis, where we end up not doing anything because it seems like so much that we have to do. But when we take these one or two things and focus on them on a daily basis, it moves us to our objective a whole lot faster. And particularly in this case for us musicians and bands, we want to be doing those one or two things that's moving us toward the goal of doing things like becoming full time or even just making more money or charging higher prices. So it could be even like just making better contracts. Those are things that move you toward that objective. So you wanna start doing this habit right now and incorporate it in your daily activities. You know, working on your business, working on those things that get you toward your goal and you'll get there a lot faster. Now, daily must do habit number two is listening to music. And I don't just mean passively listening to music like, you know, you're doing other activities and you have music on in the background. I mean critically listening to music. So what you're doing here is listening to music in a critical way where you're listening to those intricacies of the things that's happening in the music and in the vocals or in the instrument that you play. You're listening for those nuances that not a lot of people pay attention to like those background things that are going on in tracks that 
a lot of people don't catch. And there's so many benefits to doing this. Like this trains your ear really well. So like you could be listening critically to even things like the number system or the notes. So listening for the chord progressions that's happening in there or listening for what key it's in and the scales that they're using and moving through, you know, in particular sections of the song. And ideally you want to do this on a daily basis, but in different genres of music and especially genres of music that you don't normally listen to or ones that you don't necessarily care for that much. Doing this alone opens up a whole new world of music because you will discover a lot of things that you didn't even know and perhaps even develop a, an appreciation for them. And this is something that you can do with songs that you already know because you know, that's something that's happened to all of us musicians where we've been playing something for so long and then we go back and listen to it and like, wow, I didn't even know that was in there. Or I've been playing that totally wrong, you know, all of this time. So that's a good time to listen to those songs that we already know as well. And this sort of mental practice can sometimes suffice for the physical practice that we're doing on our instruments and learning songs. Because when we learn to internalize and, you know, mentally internalize music, and see it and appreciate it in a different way, it transfers to what we're doing on our instruments. But another really big benefit to doing this is that you gain a lot of inspiration when you start listening to music in a critical manner like that. You really gain a lot of insight and you get a lot of ideas about things that you can incorporate on your instrument or your voice or whatever, because you're inspired by those things. You hear those little things and then you start to internalize them. And then, like I said, they come out in the instrument or the voice. And overall, this just helps you become a better, more well-rounded musician or an artist because you're exposed to these things and you've critically looked at them and studied them and you understand them and you understand how to incorporate them in what you do. And most importantly, this is the kind of stuff that translates into you being a better musician or artist, which translates into making more money. Now, daily must do habit number three is working on your weaknesses. So we all have areas that we are not so strong in. And for us musicians and artists and bands, that's things like our playing ability, certain things in our playing abilities or our ability to conduct business in a professional way or how we relate to people and many more things. And the idea here is to just spend time working on those things so that you become better at them. Because what happens is when you put some focus on strengthening your weaknesses, they get in this category of strengths. Now you have more strengths to work with. And this is something that I see all of those professional musicians that you know are just beasts at what they do. This is something that they do regularly. They spend time strengthening their weaknesses. And what's surprising is in particular, they focus on things like basics, like scales and rudiments and you know learning those things and getting better and getting faster, more efficient with playing them. And then that kind of stuff contributes to the strengths that they already have, like they already know this host of other musical elements and musical things, and then strengthening the foundation, the rudiments, the scales, and all of this kind of stuff helps skyrocket those things that they already know. And those are just areas in the music vein. But as I stated, there are other things too, like how you relate to people. So something that you could do is just, you know, every day just focus on being a little bit nicer to people around you. And I know that may sound like something that's kind of trivial, but that kind of stuff contributes to how you relate to these big business people when they're talking to you and you're talking to them or you guys are conversing about business and you're making business ventures and them paying you high dollar amounts of money. The way you relate to each other is going to contribute to how much you get paid. But also not only strengthening your weaknesses as it pertains to musical abilities and your ability to relate to people, but also your business weaknesses. So like something simple, if you feel uncomfortable like talking to people or telling them how much you charge or you know you don't know how much to charge or things like that, just practice it with you know a friend or family member or your significant other. Just sit down and have that conversation for like 30 seconds and then just practice it on a regular or daily basis. Now, there are a lot of other things that professional musicians do on a regular or daily basis to help them get better at what they do. And I talk about some of them in this video. So check this out now. 